Hey there everybody and welcome back to the Blossom Crochet channel. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful granny merge shawl. I'm just going to show you this one that I've worked up here. So obviously it is a triangular shawl, I'm hoping you can tell that. <laughs> and it's a four row repeat although you can adjust that to whatever you want. But I've done it as a four row repeat. So it is a mix of the traditional and solid granny stitches. However, at the point on the shawl, it swaps over each time you get to the point. So one half will be granny, traditional granny, the other half will be solid granny and you'll do that for a few rows and then you'll switch it up and it will always change at the halfway point at the point of your triangle. This was done using the Northern Lights yarn but I was having trouble finding that. It seems to be out of stock in a lot of places. There are still some shades available and I will leave a link in the description to the shades that are still available. But if you were looking for an alternative, then a Shapey's Whirl would be beautiful for this shawl and also things like the Jewel Spun and just any yarn, really. You can use absolutely any yarn that you like. I would just recommend going up a hook size or at least a half hook size. I used a four and a half millimetre for this particular one and it's got a really nice drape to it. So. Yeah, I'm hoping you can really see the detail with these stitches. It's a really simple, mindless one once you get into the repeat. So yeah, you can see a bit better there now that it's folded up. But this is a, a twist on the blanket pattern that I released a few years ago for the original Granny Merge blanket. And that was obviously a square blanket. And I had so many requests asking if that could be done as a triangular shawl. And so I thought I'd better finally get around to actually doing that. So yeah, this is just a, a twist on that Granny Merge blanket pack. So for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm going to be using the James Seabrett Driftwood DK and I'm going to be using a half hook size up. So I'm going to be using a four and a half millimeter. So you want to start with your slip knot on your hook. And we're going to do a chain of five. So yarn over and pull through. It's one, two, three, four, and five. You're then going to slip stitch into the first chain to make a ring. So insert your hook into that first chain, yarn over and pull through both of those loops to make a slip stitch. And then you've got a center ring here to work our next set of stitches into. So you want to chain four, so one, two, three, and four. And that is going to count as a treble and a chain one. So remember I'm working in UK terms, so all of the stitches in this pattern are going to be UK trebles, and in the US these will be your double crochets, so just make sure you remember that. So that chain four counts as one treble and a chain one. So into this centre ring now, you want to put three treble crochets. So yarn over, insert into the centre, yarn over and pull up and you'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's one and we want two more all into that centre ring. Two. And three. Okay, so at this point we want to create the point of our triangle shawl, so we will do that by chaining two. And then again, back into this centre ring, we're going to put three trebles. So again, yarn over, back into that centre, and do your three trebles. So that's one, two, and three. So these two sets of three trebles here are going to count as the start of our granny cluster. But we then want to finish off with a chain one and one treble back into that centre ring. So now the start and the end are the same. So we had the chain four, which was one treble in chain one, our three trebles, chain two, three trebles, and then we want to finish with the chain one and one treble. And obviously it's not going to look like very much at the moment, but that is the very beginning round for your shawl. 
Okay, so this is the first round where we will switch between granny, traditional granny and solid granny. So you want to chain four. Again, that counts as a treble and a chain one. And you're going to turn and then straight into that very first chain one space, you're going to put three treble crochets. So that is going to count as your granny cluster. So three trebles into that chain one space. One, two, three, chain one, and then you're going to jump across the top of the treble cluster here and work into our corner chain two space. And you're going to do one granny cluster, so three trebles into that chain two space. So one. two and three. So we're at our corner space now. So we want to create our new corner by chaining two. And we're now going to switch to solid granny. So at this corner point when we switch back to solid granny, you are going to only put two trebles. So on your traditional granny side, you will have three trebles in the corner and the chain two and then when we work back up for our solid side, you will only put two trebles. So we've chained two and now we're doing two trebles into the chain two space. You're then going to put one treble in each of the next three stitches. So into the top of these three trebles, you're going to put one treble in each. So yarn over, insert and go through the whole of the stitch, making sure to get the V. So put one treble into the top of those three stitches. And then again, we're at our chain one space. So because we're on the solid side, we only want two trebles in this chain one space. So one, and two. So then we want to finish off the round in the same way that we started. So you want a chain one and a treble back into that space. So that is round two. That is how you should look at the end of round two. So we will start getting that beginning of the traditional granny versus the solid granny. Okay, so now you're ready to chain four again. And turn. And then we're working down a solid granny side. So two trebles into the chain one space. So one and two. And then you'll put one treble into the top of each stitch along. So again, making sure that you're working through the whole of the stitch. Okay, so that's one treble in each of those stitches. We're now at the corner space again. So we want to finish the solid side by doing two trebles into the chain two space. So one and two. Chain two. And then again, we're at the halfway point. So we want to start back up with our traditional granny. So into the corner chain two space, you're going to start your traditional granny with three trebles. So one granny cluster into the corner space. Two and three. Chain one, skip over the top of that granny cluster and put your next granny cluster into that chain one space. So three trebles. Okay, chain one. And then again, you've got another granny cluster here to skip over and you're going to work into that end space. So granny cluster into that final space. One, two, and three. And then again, always make sure you finish with a chain one and a treble on its own back into that same space. Okay, so that is how you should be looking at this point. 
So you can do as many rounds as you want before you switch over again, but I like to do four rounds the same and then change it up. So again, now we will chain four and turn and work back down with our traditional granny. So granny cluster into that very first chain one space. Chain one, skip to your next chain one space and granny cluster and work that all the way to your corner or your point, however you want to call it. Always remembering to do a chain one in between your granny clusters. And when you get to your corner with the point of your shawl, you will do a granny cluster in the chain two space. Okay, make sure you do your chain two to create the new point. And then it's time to switch back to the solid granny. So on the solid granny side, you will only have two trebles in the corner space. So one and two, and then one treble into the top of each stitch from the previous round. Okay, so I've worked one treble into the top of each of those stitches, and then I'm at that final space where I will do two trebles. So you do just need to keep reminding yourself of the difference between the solid ground between the solid side and the traditional side because the stitch counts on each side will be different in this final space. And then remember to do your chain one and another treble in that same space. Okay, so I never count this very first row that we did here as a row, I just count that as like our setup row. So I class now that I have done one, two and three rows. So I'm going to do one final round now before I switch. So I will chain four and turn, and then again, work down my solid side and my traditional granny. So hopefully you will be able to do that now. And then I will meet you once you have completed this round and I will show you how to swap so that we get the solid side on this side next time and the traditional on the other. So I will meet you in just a second. Okay, so I've completed that four rounds now and I'm ready to switch. Obviously you can do more or fewer if you want, but this is how you will switch between the two. So chain four as normal and turn. Uh, we're going to switch this time between the traditional to the solid. So we've chained four and then into this chain one space, you're going to work as if this is now a solid side. So you're going to do two trebles in that chain one space. One and two, and then you're going to work one treble into each of the stitches and each of the chain one spaces down this side. So one treble into the top of the three stitches. One treble into the chain one space and then back into the stitches. So you'll work that all the way to your corner space. So one treble into each stitch along and into each chain one space as well. Okay, so I've worked that to my corner space. So we're still on the solid, so we're going to do two trebles into the chain two space. Chain two to create the new corner. And now we're switching from the solid to the traditional. So you're going to do three trebles. So you're going to do a granny cluster into your corner space. So three trebles there. And you're going to chain one. And you're going to skip three trebles. So you're going to skip one, two, three, and then three trebles into that fourth stitch along. So a granny cluster into that stitch. chain one, skip three, and cluster into the fourth. Apologies if you can hear that rustling sound. Um, we've recently got a kitten and she's um, just reaching that very adventurous 
stage. So again, you're going to continue that all the way along and then I will meet you when you get towards the end of the round. So cluster, chain one, skip three stitches and then cluster. Okay, so I've just done my granny cluster here. I've got three stitches left and my chain. So you're going to skip the final three stitches and work a granny cluster into that end space. One, two, and three. And then again, always finish with your chain one and one treble back into that same space. Okay, so that is how you should look now that you have switched. So again, now you'll do as many rounds as you like with the traditional and the solid, and then you will switch back again. So again, like I say, I will always like to do four. So that's the first round done since I've swapped. And then I will do my traditional and my solid, and I will work up an, a, another three rounds like this. And then I will switch back. So I'll meet you one final time and where we will switch over again. But that is literally the pattern. That is how simple it is. So you'll swap in the middle each time and then swap every four rows between the two. So that is, that is literally it. So I'll meet you in just a second where we will swap one final time and then that will be the end. So I've completed another four rounds now and I'm ready to switch back again. So I'm going to chain four, turn and then I'm switching from solid to traditional. So in my first chain one space, I will be doing three trebles, so a granny cluster. And then again, chain one, and just as before, you will skip three stitches and work your granny cluster in the fourth and work that all the way down. And then in your corner space, you will do granny cluster chain two and then switch back to your solid so then you will do two trebles in the corner for this side and then one treble in each stitch and each chain one space all the way up the other side and then like I say you'll be able to just repeat that as many times until you either run out of yarn or your shawl reaches the size that you want it to be. So I really do hope that you've enjoyed the tutorial and if you have please remember to subscribe and also give the video a thumbs up but that is it and I will see you for another tutorial really soon. Thanks as always for watching and bye for now.